you need to stick around to the end of the video for some very important information about keeping this boiler safe. So I wanted to show you a bad blower motor. I want you to listen to the motor because it's not starting up and it will just trip out. Oh, it worked that time. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. Just turned it off. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. There. The motor does not start. It's just humming right now. See that? So I'm gonna turn it back on. Just click, and it's not running. It's just humming. So watch. Watch. It's calling for heat, and it's gonna just strip offline. Watch the little red button. It's looking for a flame right now, and it's not gonna find a flame, so it's gonna trip out. 45 second lockout time on this controller, and you can find that written right here. See that trip? So this would have been an in intermittent problem where it would have worked sometimes, and then it would have locked itself back out, and you would have come out and said, hey, it's tripped. You would have reset it, it may have started. So the wire for the blower motor comes underneath goes into the burner housing and loops back around and comes out here. So I'm just gonna unwire this. So we got a neutral wire and then we got a hot wire here. The orange wire comes out of the controller and it goes to the blower motor and it also goes to the ignition transformer. So if I disconnect this, This little piece of wire here, which stops the electrical wire from being pulled through. So I can just remove it. Let's take that off. Now this wire, will just slide right back through like that. And then it'll come out right here. It's easier for me to pull the motor off and then this this wire will just pull straight out. Now you want to support the motor, make sure it don't fall while you're taking out the screws. Once you get the screws out, you can just pull the motor straight out. Now you see the wire just comes right out. Now I got the new coupling still inside here. So the motor is free. That's the other thing you want to check and make sure that the motor wasn't seized up because of the new coupling being too tight. The other thing I would do is when I would open the ignition transformer, put my hand in there and spin it um, and make sure it was free. Just make sure that the power is off when you do it. This is my motor. And then I got a new blower wheel. Sometimes these are hard to get off for the cost of it. Um, I'll just show you how to swap it out. Okay. And then I have a tool that um, I will use to set the gap between the blower wheel and the housing. You have this tool here. Um, I can put it in between the fan motor and the blower wheel. First thing we want to do is find the flat spot on the motor shaft. And then you want to line that up with the set screw here on the blower wheel. So I slide it down. So I line it up like that, slide it straight down. It's going to bottom out. And then I want to set the gap. And I set this right underneath the edge like that. And then I get my Allen wrench, slide it in through this little hole and it should line up. Okay, so I'm going to move this gauge over. 
Now I can just tighten this up. You don't want to cause stress on the blower wheel. So when you tighten this up, just hold the motor and push on the set screw, the Allen wrench, and tighten up the set screw. You want to make sure you get it nice and tight. this little gap setting tool out and spin it. Now listen for any kind of metal rubbing. Spins nice and free. Next step is going to be to reinstall this back on the burner. First thing I do is put the blower motor in place and I put my hand inside the burner housing and I rotate this squirrel cage until the shaft lines up with the coupling inside motor uh, electrical on this is going to go upward and then it's going to route back through the same hole that I took it out of. So just like that, the bottom's out and it should still be free inside the spin. I make sure I rotate it so that it hits the screws as I tighten it in and then tighten the other side back up. Now I should be able to spin this blower wheel with ease. Should not stick or rub or anything. We're not going to use these connectors. Uh, we have a different controller. This is the old style burner controller, but the new ones have these little um, push on connectors. Uh, but we're going to just cut these off and then strip the wire back. Twist up the wires so they're nice and neat and they stay together. Okay, white is going to be your neutral. And then orange. Remember I had three wires. I had, in this case I have three wires. Sometimes you have four. Sometimes you have a solenoid valve for the fuel. But in this case we don't. So I'm going to hook up the orange coming out of the controller to the ignition transformer and then to the orange wire on the blower motor. We have a neutral for the ignition transformer and the blower motor and a neutral going back from this controller going back to the circuit too. Now we tuck all the wires in, make sure that you don't have any wires hanging out over the metal, otherwise it will get cut when you tighten this down. I will say the most important part of this whole replacement and this job that I just did, one, it's going to work, um, making sure that you fix it correctly and you do all the electrical and everything correctly. But the biggest thing is when you start messing with the blower wheel, and you adjust the air, um, you want to make sure you hook up a combustion analyzer to the system and make sure that it's tuned correctly. Because doing this, you can affect how fast and how much air you're going to have inside the burner, and you want to make sure it's safe for the homeowner or the business, uh, for the occupants of the building, and then you also want to make sure that it's not going to soot up and um, cause it to fail or trip out later on. Kick it on again. So let's see, it's reset, and now let's listen to it and see if it kicks on. Hear that? Kick right on, no problem. Okay, so now I'm just going to hook up my analyzer and tune it in and make sure we're good to go. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and um, please stay tuned to more videos and don't forget to subscribe. And smash the like button if you like it.